So that's great. That's great. Okay, come on, don't be dramatic. Stop. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, guys, just a couple more minutes. I went ahead and hit record just because I was able to help with that one item. Thanks for all the confidence in me, Laura. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> about another minute. Good evening, Jim. Thank you for joining. Give us about another minute. We should get started. He called me out. I'm sorry. Good evening. Good evening. Looks like EARTC has joined. Who's joined with EARTC? Hey, good evening. This is Peter Torres um, with EARTC. You said Peter Torres? Yes, sir. Very good, Peter. Thank you for joining. We may have some questions uh, folks may have for the for the contractor. Thanks, Peter. No worries. Well, it okay, is. Okay, yeah, yeah, we can go ahead and get started. So I, I was just going to let you know that I don't see anyone on the call from the council member's office. So okay. just letting you know that. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you everyone for joining. Uh, as a reminder, if we can everybody mute, uh, that would be very helpful. Uh, at the end, please feel free to unmute yourself and. Uh, and we could have we have some questions and answers at the end. So thank you everybody for joining the pre construction community meeting. Uh, we're going to be talking about the traffic new traffic signals and pedestrian improvements at Forest Park Boulevard and West 10th Street. Again, that is Council District Number Nine. The city project number is one zero three nine nine seven. I am Seth Cooksey uh, with the City of Fort Worth. I am the project manager. Uh, we have the program manager here, as I mentioned, Chad Allen, he's on the call. We also have the design engineer, the consultant uh, with Binkley Barfield, Derek Sweeney, he's on the call. And finally, we do have with EARTC, that is the contractor, we have Peter Torres. Uh, quickly, uh, go over the agenda. We're going to be talking about the project scope and goals of the project. We're going to be talking about the project location very briefly. So we're going to be spending a little time on project details. We're going to talk about the typical construction process, uh, the construction schedule, and finally uh, show the contact information. You might want to take a screenshot of that slide when we get there. Uh, project scope and goals. We're going to install the new, uh, new, new traffic signals, um, pedestrian signals, and we're also going to be doing a little bit of modification of the nose uh, in Forest Park Boulevard. We're going to be restriping the entire intersection and doing some modifications to those sidewalks. And again, thanks for muting everyone. Thanks for muting. If you can please mute. Uh, the objectives include improving traffic flow at the intersection during peak hours um, by reducing stop delay and improving side street access to Forest Park from West 10th. Uh, this project uh, will improve pedestrian safety at the intersection because we're installing pedestrian actuated signals with push buttons. Um, and then of course, we're installing the ADA compliant 
curb ramps. Uh, this project was funded by the 2022 bond. Uh, I think everybody's familiar with the project location. Uh, we're here at uh, Forest Park and 10th uh, over on the west side of downtown. You can see the, the 7th Street is here. Um, you can also see the Trinity River in this little in this little uh, map. But close up, we have a we have a close up of the intersection at Forest Park and West 10th. So right now, um, this we have just the stop sign. I think most people are familiar with this, and we're going to be doing some some improvements at this intersection. What are we going to be doing? Well, we're going to be adding the big things we're going to be doing. You're going to be noticing is traffic signals. Uh, everybody's familiar with those. The configuration, if you care, is on the left side there. Uh, we've got traffic signals at the northeast corner of the intersection. We have traffic signals on the south side of, of the intersection, also on the west side near the park. So those are the big traffic signals going in. Just want everybody to really get a good understanding of the traffic signals and, uh, and where they're going. Also gonna be doing full pavement uh, markings. We call it striping. Uh, we're gonna get all new striping at that intersection. The entire intersection will be restriped. Um, and, and we're basically redoing the striping. There is that striping now, but it'll be all new striping. But a big thing I wanted to uh, talk about here is the idea that we are not changing any traffic patterns here uh, with the striping. So everything that is there, what you're normally used to, uh, it obviously except for the stop sign, um, you will be uh, continuing through that, that, that with that traffic flow. And that's what we're doing here. Signage, uh, as you can see, you can imagine a new uh, intersection uh, improvements here is going to have new signs. We're going to be putting all new signs, uh, making sure that the all the traffic, all the cars, and all the pedestrians in the area know what the cars are supposed to be doing. The cars will know what they're doing, and it'll be very clear. And you can see on the left side the uh, the new signage going in. Traffic control. I you know we may want to come back to this slide. But uh, basically, the contractor will be preparing and submitting a traffic control plan. Uh, I and uh, my bosses and others will be looking at that uh, from the city's perspective to make sure the contractors kind of dotted all his I's and crossed all his T's uh, that uh, meets city standards. And there's uh, obviously the safe and keeping the workers safe, also keeping the pedestrians and the uh, vehicles uh, out of the construction area. Um, you know, it's important to note that the traffic signals are outside of the roadway, uh, but just because they're outside of the roadway does not mean there will not be uh, construction in the roadway. So we will have some temporary lane closures uh, during active hours, uh, even short term, uh, sometimes short term lane closures uh, can be expected, uh, especially when that we're working on that uh, median uh, nose modifications. But uh, again, I want to make it very clear that the idea here is that we are, and I know that the contractor will be uh, is on board as well. Uh, we're keeping the plan on keeping a one lane open in each direction, uh, so there will always be flow through here at all times. Um, you know. And when I say all times, you know, you can imagine 99.9% .9 of the time, obviously there are okay, uh, situations where we're moving uh, certain things across doing that. So very briefly, uh, there could be uh, additional lane closures, but the idea is that for the most part, we are going to keep uh, one lane, at least one lane open in all directions on this project during the entire uh, construction uh, phase of this project. What does a typical construction process look like? Well, we start with uh, door hangers. All the businesses in the area, uh, there are quite a few, will go out and we will hang the door hangers to let you know that the, that the construction is about to start. 
there will be a large project sign uh, placed on the uh, at the site. It gives you more information about the project and what's going on. Uh, the traffic control will then start to be set up. You'll see those cones and those those barriers going up, those big orange ones, um, and you'll know that there's construction in the area. Uh, all of a sudden, you'll start seeing the big signals and the mast arms, uh, the poles, I should say, the signals and mast arms being delivered out to the site and then uh, installed. Uh, that 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 median nose will be some construction in the center of that of the of the at the median there working on that nose modification. Um, as those are being put up, fixed up, as those are being completed, you'll see some landscaping, sodding. Uh, they'll be fixing things up, starting to make it look pretty again. Uh, and then the moment of truth, almost when you have the uh, traffic control, is starting to be removed. Those cones and those barriers are. Are taken away, um, and then finally the cleanup. And I'm sure the contractor is going to do a fantastic job with the cleanup, and everyone's going to be very happy. I'm very sure of that. Um, and that is the process. What's the schedule look like? Uh, the design right now is obviously complete. We're talking about construction. We're hoping to go to construction end of May. Could be early June. Um, uh, I wanted to remind everyone that we this project didn't require additional right away, and there was there should be no re utility relocations that should help the project go along very smoothly. We're figuring it could be up to 6 months for this project. Uh, so, therefore, we're looking at the end of the year for complete or very early in 2025 to be complete. The working hours are standard in this project. We don't see any need to uh, adjust those 7 to 6 uh, Monday through Friday. And if requested and required and approved, uh, nine to five on the weekends. Uh, and again, we will have those uh, project signs and door hangers we talked about earlier. Uh, I just wanted to, as a reminder, and it's underlined here, uh, the set schedule can always be affected by unforeseen events such as utility conflicts or weather. Um, yeah, we've had bad weather in this area in the past, as I'm sure most people know. But we're not, we're hoping for nothing, nothing too severe on this one. Nothing to, should hold us up. Finally, uh, this is the contact information. Feel free to take a screenshot or take a photo of this screen. If you have questions, uh, you can contact myself, Seth Cooksey. Uh, I'm the project manager and the design engineer is Derek Sweeney. Our contact information is here. Please feel free to call or send an email. I think emails are probably a little easier for us, but. Um, if you see something out there that does not uh, look right, um, please feel free to give us a call. Uh, we can handle that uh, quickly in, 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 in that case. This slide, uh, again, feel free to take a photo of this slide. Uh, this is talking about the, the app. Um, you know, with this app, the My Fort Worth app for Apple or Google, um, there's a lot you can do with there. You can actually uh, report uh, different things you're seeing. Um, and get more information on different uh, things that are going on with the city and this project. Uh, and you could download that app from this um, from the app store uh, for Google or Apple. Also, the city call center, if you have other questions, uh, this can be quite helpful. And that's it for the presentation. Um, so feel free to unmute and. Uh, Ask those questions if you have any. If not, no worries. That just means I did a great job and I answered all your questions already. But please feel free to feel free to ask any questions. So folks can also input questions into the chat. Um, I muted everyone earlier at the beginning. It seemed like we were having some problems with that. I don't know if I should unmute everybody or if People can individually unmute themselves. I hope they can. Okay, yeah, it says it says people can unmute themselves now. So if they have any questions, they should be able to unmute themselves. They can also enter questions in the chat. Seth, I'm monitoring the chat, and I, right now I do not see any questions in the chat. No problem. <clears throat> EARTC, do you have anything to add to this? Presentation, the contractor. Is there anything you'd like to add or anybody at all, Derek?
Nope. Um, yeah. As far as EARTC goes, um, you know, everything is pretty well stated. Uh, if you guys have any questions for us, and we're also here to answer anything you need. Thank you. Yeah, same, uh, same here. Uh, I think, uh, Seth, what you did looked, looked good. You covered all the high, the, uh, hot, the, uh, high points. Happy to dive into the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the weeds. If there's any, uh, specific things that come up. Thank you, Derek. Seth Sager, Sager from transportation management also joined. Thank you for being here. Sager to answer any questions. Uh -huh. We always. We always get questions about other intersections that are closed that we can't answer or technical questions we can't answer. So thank you for coming. Sure. Yes. Uh, good evening. Uh, if there are any questions, I'd be happy to answer. If if you, uh, I, th I think we owe I think we owe Sagar lunch because um, this is the second meeting in a row we've asked him to attend at the last minute. So <laughs> lunch lunch is on me when you're available. I have, a, I have an eight thirty p.m. meeting. I'm going to send him an invite to tonight as well. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, if uh, if you don't have questions, if you feel like all your questions are answers, or you you're free free to go. Or uh, just sit and listen. It's no problem. And we may have some latecomers. 